You're watching a Facts with Fiona media production. I'm Fiona Moriarty, and this is Facts with Fiona. Hi, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to the third episode of Facts with Fiona Season 2. I'm your host, Fiona Moriarty. This week, we had the opportunity to talk to Danielle Deadweiler at the 30th Annual Santa Barbara International Film Festival, where she was honored with the Virtuosos Award. She's the recipient of two Gotham Awards and nominated for both SAG and BAFTA Awards for her role in Till, where she starred as Mammy Till, the mother of 14-year-old Emmett Till, an African-American boy who was abducted, tortured, and lynched in Mississippi in 1955. For Deadweiler, the historical nature of the role was weight enough, a persisting load on her. The issue of history repeating itself with young black men being targeted to this day, she calls a perpetual psychic experience which can hit you emotionally. This is not Danielle's first introduction to motherhood on screen. She also played a mother in 2019 thriller, The Devil to Pay. Other roles include guest starring on Donald Glover's FX series, Atlanta. Let's go to our conversation with Deadweiler. So we're here with Danielle Deadweiler from Till. Do you, how do you think Till is leading the way in, for, in terms of black representation and telling black stories in the entertainment industry? Um, leading the way, I think it's a part of a continuum of black film and black cinema. Uh, I think that it's a critical story that's been waiting to be told on the big screen for a really long time. Uh, our, one of our producers and writers, uh, Keith Beauchamp, was a mentee of Mamie, and he talks often about how Mamie wanted this done in 1955, that he and our various other producers were a part of this film and pushing this film for the last 20, 30 years. And so this is about how, how steadfast people are, how steadfast black art is, and how we continue to push and are consistent in getting the works that we want to see made that are for everybody, not just for our community. Turner Classic Movies host Dave Carker, who hosts the Virtuosos Award every year at the Santa Barbara International Film Festival, presented the award to Deadweiler. We're here with Dave Carger from TCM, Turner Classic Movies. It's great to meet you tonight. So how does it feel presenting such a prestigious award, the Virtuosos, to such a great group of actors? I love that question. This is my 13th year in a row hosting this Virtuosos event. It's an event that I love putting together with Roger Derling from the festival. And I love hosting it because it feels like a victory lap for all of these amazing breakout performers who have had such a great year. I love this event. I look forward to it all year long. Deadweiler shared that she had dreams almost every night filming Till. I'm an everything-er. I do everything. I journal. I, I'm a dreamer, right? Like I'm big. No, that's the part that I have not spoken about. Every single night of filming, I dreamed. Okay? Like literally. Like sometimes, you know, you have a dream one day, you have another one a couple of days later. No, it was every single night. And so it, those dreams were really beautiful and instructive in a way. Deadweiler discusses the close relationship she developed with her cast and crew, creating a tight knit ensemble on set and talking with each other, you know, and just really holding space for each other. Community care, critical care was everything about this experience. That's what filmmaking is. It's nothing but community. And so I feel like I was, you know, just covered in a, a womb of sorts throughout this experience. It wasn't a solo thing. It wasn't, you know, the most, you know, solitudinous experience. It was everybody is covering me in every, every capacity and we're doing it together. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Facts with Fiona. Before you go, make sure to rate, review, and subscribe to the show on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and iHeartRadio. And for more behind-the-scenes footage of the show, visit us at factswithfiona.com and follow me at Fiona Moriarty on Instagram and Facts with Fiona on Twitter. See you next week.